What's up you guys it is your boy tundra here and i just want to say thank you thank you thank you for helping me reach 100 subscribers but not only did you help me reach my goal you helped actually helped me surpass my goal by helping me surpass 100 subscribers you guys have been killing my like goal of 10 likes and on one of my videos you guys helped me reach 30 likes and even on my last clip that i posted you guys helped me you know just tremendously and i love talking to you guys in the comments below you know i love what you guys have to say i love hearing your guys' theories so i just want to take that time out to say thank you all so very much before the video starts and now that we're on to that guys trust me i will be having a couple more videos coming out including the lore of state of decay and don't worry i did take you guys' advice and i am writing a script i was not offended in any way shape or form because it's just your guys giving you guys this opinion which i really appreciate like i said i love talking to you guys down in the comment section below and also it is time to get started with the video so run that intro Alright, so what we're going to be talking about in today's video is ways to help make daybreak a lot more better and fun for us. And I do think you guys might actually agree with some of these things. But if you guys do think that there's other things that might help make daybreak break better, please sound off in the comment section below. But first, let's get into this with number one, new maps. If we look at games like Left 4 Dead uh, Survivor Mode and World War Z Survivor Mode, what they have on theirs is maps. You know, you get to pick different maps that you want to play with. And without a question, State of Decay does need new maps as it will help bring in people and have people continuing to play if we can select different maps so i just want to say i think number one what we do need is new maps if you guys agree let me know down in the comment section below now number two challenges again if we're looking at something like world war z it's not hard to see why that mode carries the game because the game itself has more than one way to make people play it has some challenges that make people want to try to complete them why they try and survive for as long as they can so they have money to pay for items to survive and i do think that is a feature or something that needs to be added to state of decay to help make us want to play the game which is challenges to also do while we are surviving number three more influence for completing the game guys this is the most annoying thing in the world to me i will say this playing daybreak it does get boring you guys it really does especially when you're only getting a little over a thousand influence daybreak influence for completing it i recently had a twitch supporter send me a photo of her maxed out daybreak influence i don't know how to actually add that on here because i'm still new to the whole editing thing but her max daybreak influence is actually 99,949 daybreak influence which is insane because to get that much would probably take you all day maybe a day and a half but by that time you would have already been sick of it especially if you're not completing the whole thing and what i mean by not completing it is if you're playing with people who don't know how to play daybreak and really know how to survive daybreak you might only survive a few rounds or maybe even you know half and that sucks because you can possibly get like 800 900 influence and guys that just absolutely sucks and when you're killing the special infected like bloater you're only getting like two influence which i which which sucks you guys which absolutely sucks and i do think that they need to be more influence for completing the whole thing all right so number four a full survival system and what i mean by this is let's once again use left for dead and world war z as an example 
Left 4 Dead 2 Survival is a non-stop horde that comes at you, but before it happens, the game gives you everything you would need to survive before. It starts from gas canisters to bio, you know, jars and molotovs, pipe bombs. It's all of these things and elements that you, you know, play throughout the game. They just said, hey, we're going to align all of these up and you guys have um, set them up however you want to set them up. All right. So, and World War Z gives you C4 to get the money to buy things that's not, you know, that's not it. It does give you rounds as well. And when we take a look at something like Call of Duty, okay, Call of Duty, you know, you get to also do, you know, purchases. It, it gives you things, you know, for completing the rounds. And I do think that that's something that State of Decay needs to also try to do you know like it might help with people who actually wants to play the game even more number five a buy-in system in call of duty and world war z there are buy-in systems that are used to help players survive longer and even help team players which i do think would be awesome to have as the end you collect your daybreak points in game you get survivor points but i mean you do get cleo yes but after every round it's not always what you need but you put in but you put a in game buy system which everything you would need like call of duty has you know perks you know they got the the mystery box the world war z you have you know items where you can buy to help set up and you also have ammo and you know there's also guns and stuff if you want to get higher guns you can buy those as well so these games they you know they have their their perks you know they have their weapons they have things that you can buy and i do think that a situation like daybreak there do need to be a in-game you know thing you know not only are you getting your daybreak influence and points and whatever but they do need to be an in-game buy system an in-game point system where you can actually receive not only daybreak at the end like literally at the end you should receive your daybreak stuff for however long you are surviving and i'm not just talking about you receiving it per round however long you get it should be like you know maybe let's say 50 you know stuff like that because killing bloaters you know all that stuff it doesn't really amount to like a hundred unless you're cons consistently getting bloaters but i do think a in-game buy system would definitely help because you playing these rounds and you're only getting a little a little over a thousand it's just you know a lot of people just don't see it as worth it but we play daybreak for the points but we can barely get over that and then you go play the main story where you end up spending it all by buying you know red talent stuff and you know if you want to get a red talent app or, uh, operator or soldier that's going to cost you a lot like just to get two of them you would have to play about five six games just to have a little over you know something left over for you to see but I do think Undead Labs might need to try to do something, maybe new maps, maybe in-game boss systems and stuff like that, that might actually help out and bring people in to want to play Daybreak. Because I do think Daybreak is good and it can be fun, but they have to take that step in trying to do what they can do to make it fun and you know make it fun for the players because like i said at the end of the day you're not really receiving a lot and i know it's supposed to be a challenge but like i said at the end of the day we're not receiving a lot you know uh daybreak influence which is crazy because like i said if you want to play the main story you want to do all this crafting and you want to buy your operators it's gonna it's gonna cost you know but I do think Undead Labs might want to try to do something because we don't even know when we're getting State of the K3. You know, we don't even know if we're getting it this year. We don't know if we're getting it next year. 
So why not try to do something to make daybreak fun for people, you know? But that's my take. Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think, you know, what make it fun for you guys? What do you think Undead Lab should add to daybreak? Or do you think they shouldn't add anything at all? And that is perfect the way it is. But, you know, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to have a chat with you guys about this. And I will talk to you all later.